Good morning, everyone. Today's lesson is about odds, another probability lesson. And under that odds, you see the word level number one, because I have here three different lessons about odds. So this one is the basic. All right. So I'm going to give you basic problems involving odds. Let's define first what do we mean by odds. Odds are used to describe the chance of an event occurring. The odds are the ratios that compare the number of ways the event can occur with the number of ways that event cannot occur. Now, there are two different kinds of, you know, problem that you will see. Um, odds in favor and odds against. So if it's odds in favor, the answer or the equation to that one will be the number of successes is to the number of failures. Odds against, on the other hand, is the opposite of that. Number of failures is to the number of successes. Okay, let me give you five examples. Let's go to the first one. The graphic below depicts all the marbles in an opaque bag that one marble would be pulled out. There are six blue, three red, two yellow, one green for a total of 12 marbles in a bag. What are the odds of getting a red marble? So red marble, we have three. There's a total of 12 marbles. So 12 minus three is equal to nine. So nine are the marbles that are not red. So that's three is to nine. So that will be the answer. Three over nine, three is to nine or one third. You need to simplify the answer. Okay. Let's go to the next example. And here we have a jewelry box contains five white pearl, two gold rings and six silver rings. What are the odds of drawing a white pearl from the jewelry box? We have white uh, five white pearls and the number of the number of um, uh, pearls that are not white will be equal to eight. So that's two and six. Two plus two is equal to eight. So the answer here will be five is to eight. Okay. So this is the detailed explanation of that one. Five is to eight. All right. Let's go to the next one. Two coins are tossed. Find the odds of uh, in favor of getting two heads. So if you have two coins and we toss the two coins, it can be what? H, 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 T, T, H, and T, T. I'm going to write it here. H, H, um, H, T, and, uh, uh, sorry, T, H, and T, T. And this is the, uh, the favor, the odds in favor, right? So that's one is to three. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the fourth example. Two dice are rolled. Find the odds against getting a sum of nine. So these are the possibilities when we when we um, roll a die or we roll two dice. It can be one one, two two, three one, four one, etc. etc. There's a total of thirty six here. The six times six is thirty six, right? So it's the total. Now here, <clears throat> the problem is against getting a sum of nine. So I think it's better if we find those numbers that that are in favor of getting a nine. And because it's there, it's fewer, definitely. 6, 3, 5, 4, 4, 5, 3, 6. That's a total of number 4. We subtract that from 30, 36. That's 32. Which means that the answer here will be 32 is to 4. Which will be equal to 8 is to 1 if we simplify. That's the answer. All right? Yep. This is the, I think, the detailed explanation of that one. Number of successes, 4. Number of failures is 32. The odds that we're looking here is the odds against, not in favor. Okay, let's go to the fifth example and the last one. A young child is looking into a gumball machine filled with yellow, red, orange, and blue gumballs. There are 10 yellow, 6 red, 18 orange, and blue gumball, 20 blue gumballs in the machine. If the child puts in a quarter, what are the odds of the following? Let's answer the first two. Red and... Uh, let's answer the first one first. So red gumbo. So this will help us... Um, uh, help us answer this problem. The odds of getting a red gumbo. So we have how many reds here? Six. How many are not red? So 54 minus 6, that gives us 48, right? So that means this will be equal to 6 is to 48 or just 1 is to 8. Okay? So the answer to that one. The second one, blue or orange. So when you see that word or in math, that means addition. 
we add blue and 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 orange so how many blue 20 how many orange is 18 that's that's equivalent to 38 if we add those two so 38 is to the number of uh, neither of those two which is 16 that's 38 is to 16 or simplify that 19 is to 8 right okay let's answer the third one the third one is not yellow so let's count the not, let's see the yellow first there are 10 obviously the not yellow will be 54 minus 10 which is equivalent to 44 the not yellow okay so that will be equal to this one 44 um, is to 10 or 22 is to 5 is the answer the last one will be oh, neither red or yellow neither red or yellow so neither red or yellow red or yellow is 16 neither of those two is 38 so that means this will be 38 is to 16 which is equivalent to 19 is to 8. all right so these are basic examples of odd um, odds problem i'm gonna give you another uh video this time it's like level number two so different kind of problems you will see when we talk about odds in probability for the meantime i hope you learned something and um, thank you for watching